Hi and welcome to Outdoors for Adventure. Tonight we will be playing Fire Tower. This is what the outside of the box looks like and I'm going to start pulling out the components. Is it hot in here or is it just me? It's just, it's just the fire. It's just the fire. Someone really needs to put all these flames out. Okay. So, um, one of the key components is you need to be playing a... Cat corner for each other? Yes. And then they provide uh, blocks to cover these up. It comes with one rule book. Everybody watch out, these are the flames. We don't need that now, do we? This is a directional um, card. You can either have it on this side or this side. These are the... Basically cover-ups. Cover-ups. So the for a two player game. I'm gonna put that over because I think that side will show up more in and see that's west. So you want that point the same way as the board. I'll put the extra one in the box. Okay. Ooh, that was hot. There are Two cards that come out of the deck when you're setting up your game. There, this is a mutual aid card. This needs to go in that box. That's why I need that box. Because you. That's for also for a multiple player game. We're only playing two players. We each get a bucket of water. So these are cards you don't play with when you're just a two player. Champion of the Wood, Shadow of the Wood, and Mutual Aid. And there may, on these two, there may be special rules if you wanted to use them for a two player game. But it's an option and we're not going to do that. There is a Firestorm card that you pull out, shuffle a deck. Okay, and then you cut the deck, place this card in it. And that card is what? Firestorm. Okay. Then we get five cards each to start with. And as you can tell, this is not a step-by-step -step instructional on how to play this game, but we're hoping as you watch us play a game, it'll help you catch on to how to play the game along with the instructions. You have a directional dice, which has the north, south, east, west information on it. You have a flame to mark your direction. I'm going to let Tim roll and choose our direction. And it's west. So you put the flame west and that's letting everybody know that the wind is blowing west. So blowing across the board this way. And who's going to go first? You. So I'll go first. The first thing you do is you're going to place a flame against this 
inflamed area here and we have to be on the west side and it has to be touching this flame on the west side. And then I look at my cards and the object of this game is I wanna burn her fire tire down. I wanna get one of these in this orange square right here on top of her fire tire. And she wants to do the same thing to me. In our cards we have cards that allow us to place flames and we have cards that allow us to place blocks to keep them from putting a flame coming toward us or we can change direction with direction cards uh, we can use some cards to remove several flames and some cards will allow you to place several flames and you'll see that as we play and for this hand, I'm just going to go ahead and do a dozer line, which is place two blocks, is what I call them. They're actually fire breaks in the game. I can place two adjacent fire break tokens horizontally or vertically on vacant spaces. So, I'm going to discard this. I'm going to get two of these fire breaks. And I'm wanting to protect my tower, so I'm going to put them right here. Now I'm going to draw a card to keep five cards in my hand. Another option you have, if you don't have good cards, you don't think your cards are working for you, you can use your turn to discard one or all of your hand and redraw your cards, and that counts as your turn. Now it'll be her turn, and she will start out just like I did by placing a fire break on the west side. And this is good for me because this is kind of moving toward her tower. I'm going to start out on the defense and I am off where he had a play or a place. I have a place or remove card. So I'm going to remove this one. But I worked so hard to put that thing. <laughs> Okay, I have to first place my gem, or fire, or I guess flame, on the west side. It has to be touching a flame. And then I'm going to play an explosion card. I get to choose a fire gem and replace it with a fire break token, and then I get to place fire gems in all vacant spaces surrounding it. So I'll discard that. I'm gonna go ahead and draw my next card. So I'm going to remove this one, replace it with a fire break, and then I get to add flames all the way around it in all the vacant spots. And now it's her turn. Okay. First thing you do is West Gym. I'm going to try to keep him away from me. The scratch line that I have, it has to be, has to have two, place two fire break, break tokens with one space between them horizontally, horizontally or vertically on vacant spaces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to keep this from gr growing towards me, so I'm going to place that one there. I'm going to do another explosion, just like I did last time. 
And I'm going to replace this one with the brake. And then I'm going to place flames all the way around it. And I need to draw my card. And the wind changes. We're going south now, are we? So, I'm drawing my next card. And it's your turn. Did you place your west, Jim? Oh. I did not. Now that she changed the wind to south, I will. My first turn is to place a flame on the south side, and it must touch a flame. And then I'm changing the direction to north because we got to keep the flames going toward her fire tire, not my fire tire. Oh, I didn't draw my card. Keep your hand at five. And just when he thought it was safe to go outside, I changed the weather wind to the east. Well, let me place my flame to the east, as far away from me as I can. Okay. Now, my understanding is as long as it's touching flame, I don't think that when the direction changes, we have to play from here. Something I may check later, but I don't I think this is the correct way. Um so I placed my flame are we doing east? East. And then I'm changing the direction back south. Jim and I am going to play an ember. Move one fire gem on the board to any space orthologically ad adjacent to an existing gem. You can't move a gem from a fire tower area. So I am going to move This one. So move that back where you had it? Or? No. Um, and edit. And I'm going to draw my card. Okay, I have to place my first flame to the south and then I'm going to remove I'm using the fire engine I'm going to remove up to four gems in the shape of a square so I'm going to remove these four here that was just three. take my card off I thought I grabbed four her turn. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do is place my fire. And there's a flare up. In this place up to three adjacent fire gems to a horizontal or vertical line. At least one gem must be ornithologically placed to an existing gym.
first thing I have to do is place my flame south and then we're going to do a airdrop. Remove up to three adjacent fire gems in a horizontal or vertical row. So these three right here she just placed are gone. I put them out. Now it's her turn. Okay, so with that, I'm going to place this flame and I'm going to create an explosion. So choose a fire gem and replace it with a fire break token placing fire gems on the vacant spaces surrounding it. I'm going to play my first one there and I'm going to change the direction back to the east. back to the west. I'll place my first gem and I'm playing a flare up. first and then I am going to this is D or reforest I'm going to place the fire break token on a vacant space so I'm going to put it right here Oh, fire break. I'm not going to put a fire break token right there. I'm going to put a fire break token on my end. <laughs> I am. Oh. I keep forgetting to get my card. I keep forgetting to play this. Okay, so. I am going to do a airdrop, which it let, allows me to move three fires. Ooh, I got the firestorm. The firestorm has a star right here, which means that it must be played immediately. I roll the wind dice and add fire gems in the direction shown ornithologically adjacent to all existing gems. So, with the firestorm, you roll the, the wind dice. We're going to be going south. Do we move this? Mm-hmm. And we place a fire gem ornithologically along this side. Every empty space. Yeah, these three. Mm -hmm. 
turkey, cat. Mm -hmm. All right. And then, then the next step is to roll for a new direction. Back west. I like that. And all players may draw back their hand. Discard and draw back their hand. I don't know where he one card. I'm drawing my card back because I don't want to discard any of mine. And it's your turn. Okay, well, we want to. to We're going to do, oh, first I need to do my gem here. And then we're going to do an explosion. Choose a fire gem and replace it with a fire break token, and then place fire gems in all vacant spaces surrounding it. So I'm going to choose the one I just placed here and replace it with the fire break token. So I'm just going to use that to fill that spot in. And then any empty space around that. I can put a flame. It's not a whole lot, but it's more than there was. And I'm going to draw, and I'm done. Uh. going to play the smoke jumper card which says choose an existing fire gem and remove fire gems from any of the eight spaces surrounding it. The center fire gem, gem must remain. So this is going to be my remaining gem. And okay. well, let's Put me another one out here. And two can play that game because I also have a smoke jumper card. And this is going to be my center or remaining gem. And we're going to remove these. Took your center. Oh, took my center. Can't blame you for trying. <laughs> and now I need to draw my card. And I'm done. And the wind's going up. First, I'm going to place my gem. I think you should put it right there. And the wind's going to change. Well, I think I'll place, oh, I gotta do mine. It has to be this way, so we'll go right there. And then I'm going to do a dozer line and place two more dozers. I'll draw my card. I've placed my first gem and there's going to be a flare up which says place up to three adjacent flower fire gems in a horizontal or vertical line. At least one gem must be ornithologically adjacent to the an existing gem. And I'm going to Draw my card. Okay, let's place the gym. Oh, yeah, we're going that way. And then I'm going to play a fire engine, remove up to four fire gems in the shape of a square. So I choose just to remove these two. I don't. It says remove up to four, so that does mean I can just remove two. And then take my card. Oops. 
There's been an airdrop. Remove up to three adjacent gem fire gems in a horizontal or vertical line. I'm removing these three. And y'all stay tuned to find out what this book card is for. Because we are getting closer to where one of us may have to use the bucket card. So I'm going to save that one. I'm going to go ahead and remove. Oh, I didn't put my. Or did I? I don't remember putting my gem down. We're still going that way. And I'm going to remove a fire break token. There has been a burning snag. Place up to four fire gems in the shape of a square. At least one gem must be ornithologically adjacent to an existing fire gem. Did not post my tire. Notice that the board is way across the table, so it's hard for me to do. Okay. I place my southerly wind plane, and then play a smoke jumper, which is going to let me. That's going to be my center one. I'm going to remove all these right here. Oh no! And then take my card. I'm not getting the cards that I need. <laughs> Remove up to four gems in the shape of a square. Change the wind direction back to west. Not west. I'm going west from the west from that. Oh, you're correct. Okay, I am going to change the um wind and I don't want to go north so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it to chance and I'm going to roll the dice and let it choose a new wind direction. So we're going back south. So that is another option for your wind cards. Alright, well I'll place my Jimmy fire that way, and then I'm going to change the wind direction back to west. It ain't going to be long, we're going to have to shuffle the deck or discard pile. Okay, I'm going to play my west gym, and I am going to roll the dice again to. to Change the direction to north. To north. Now it's my turn. I'm going to place my gym north, and then I'm going to play a burning snag, which allows me to place four gems. And of course, I'm going to do what I can do to get in her fire tire area. And then I'll take my card. Okay, so I'm going to play my bucket. I'm going to remove up to three adjacent gems in a horizontal or vertical line. At least one gem must be in your fire tower area. So, oh, I can't do that yet. Because there's not three in a line. So, does it say you have to move three or does it say up to three? So, you don't have to move three. You could move two if you want. 
or you can take a chance and maybe put some more in there and you can move through. Yes, the only this is the only card. The bucket card is the only card that will allow you to move cards out of your fire tire area. Okay, so I am removing these two with my bucket card, which means I flip it over to reckless abandon. If your bucket is empty, you can use your turn to discard a set of three water cards or three fire rate cards to place two fire gems draw back up to your hand size. So I don't want to use that now, plus I've already used that on my but on my buckets, but that's what it says. So it is now your turn and I Did you do your flame going north? Or did you directly use your bucket card? You no, know, I put my flame Yes I did, I put it right there. Okay. Well I got it. I got to place mine going that way. And then I'm going to use a smoke jumper, which will allow me to leave that as my center and remove all of them that is around me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and put it back where it is. Oh. Closer. And we'll discard it here. Oh, and I need to draw my card. Alright. Okay, I'm going to place my gem. And then I am going to change the direction of the wind to the east. Okay, so I will play a gem to the east, and then I'm going to do a flare up, which lets me place three gems going vertical or diagonal. And draw my card. there's a burning snag. I've got to place four in the shape of a square. Straighten my flame up for me, babe. And I'm also going to first place my flame to this direction. And then I'm going to play a burning snag, which will put me in her fire tower in the red square, which means I have won the game. I thought you had to play in a square. It is a square. Up to four. You don't have to play drop four, you just up to four. So that's, that's the end of this game. What do y'all think? I like it. It was close. No comment. <laughs> not one of your favorites, huh? It is not one of my favorites. The first move, when you place your first flame, you do have to move in the direction of the wind. But when you move a card move, you move that where ever it best, uh, how, how am I trying to say this? You want to move it to where you're getting to your opponent's fire tire. You don't have to keep it in the direction of the wind. So just remember, your first flame placement has to go in the direction of the wind. Card moves do not have to go in the direction of the wind. It's not one of my favorites. But I think we did get it down pat. I think everything we did was in line with the instructions and how I saw people playing it. So hopefully, uh, 
basically you're just doing what you're told on the cards. You know, you have your basic first move, and then you, you choose your card to play, and you just follow instructions on your card. And your cards won't say, like Smoke Jumper, choose an existing fire gem and remove fire gems from any of the eight spaces surrounding it. The centered fire gem must remain. It does, it does not continue to say, moves must be in the direction of the winner. So you just basically are following instructions. I personally have a nickname this game Dumpster Fire. Uh, it's actually pretty good, I think. It depends on the individual person. Uh, and it, you do have to think a little bit about your moves. And a lot of it is chance. But with that, we're going to end this. This is the game Fire Tower. Uh, it is an outdoor themed game. And it's really right up my alley with all the force uh, that I like to run. So, like I said, I hope you all enjoy it. And, you know, I guess I'll leave it as this may be a game for you or it may not be a game for you. Y'all have a great day. And if you haven't subscribed while you're here, go down there and click that subscribe button. Thanks.